you leave behind six years of leadership. Mm -hmm. um, tell me a little bit about the accomplishments you've made with the party. Well, when we took over, when I became chairman, we had 15 elected office holders. Uh, and so we have more than that now. And we uh, have a, an, an infrastructure that we didn't have as much before. Uh, we've got a very nice headquarters. What we had before was not so nice. And uh, we're able to, uh, we've got more precinct chairs than we had before and uh, a lot more involvement with people. Uh, we've been successful at raising money. And uh, like city council, which is not partisan, but seven of the nine city council people are now Republicans. So, and we've been influential on helping the surrounding counties. There are elected Republicans in all in Jim Wells, in, in Clay Bergen, and San Patricio. So bit by bit, uh, and I like to think that um, people are picking up the ball and running with it. I, my style of leadership is a little bit of take, you know, pick up the ball and run. Uh, uh, I'm definitely not a a, a, a control freak. A lot of let, let people do what they want to do. The guys, the individuals, doing the work. And so we've in, in, increased the number of elected officials. We have had a bigger influence on state party politics and had a bigger influence on our local area. I think we've and I've had a good th uh, six years. It sounds like you've been busy. Well, I have a have a company too, and uh, it takes about half my time to be chairman. And uh, when I, you know, Susan came to me oh, four weeks ago, something like that, and uh, I thought she was going to quit. She called me and was going to have lunch, and I said, oh, no, she's going to quit and be in the vice chair. And first thought she was real nervous, and I was thinking, well, what's this? And she, she was worried about offending me. I was. <laughs> and and uh, said, Mike, I, I want to run against you, but I'd like to run for chairman. I said, yes. And then she made the pitch again because I, I'm not sure she. I heard didn't me. believe my ears. <laughs> yeah. My wife and I have been talking about it for a while, and when I made my announcement publicly and at the Republican Club three weeks ago, uh, the happiest person that in that room was Connie Bergsman, my wife. Uh, she's she's tired of the expense and tired of the. Um, challenge of being chairman and, and she thought it was time to let someone else carry the ball and Susan asked for the ball so <laughs> I, I didn't have to go out and find some I was concerned about having somebody I could have confidence in that could do a good job and Susan brings her creativity uh, you know I'm, I'm pretty ordinary on the creative stuff uh, you know I made C's in art in school in the uh, but we've really jazzed up our headquarters and, and uh, our social media is getting a lot better. We do have a, a, a new executive director who also is helping mm -hmm. with that. But we're, uh, she's done, a, you know, bring something, uh, a, also, what was it, who, the, one of the local Democrat candidates said the Republican Party is old white men. And I thought, well, we need to have a young woman instead to, to beat that narrative. 